Okay then, so I'd like to make it so that only users who are logged in can see certain pages. So for example, if you're a staff member of Pizza House, then only you, after you've logged in, would be able to see a couple of these pages. And those pages are the pizza orders, which is at forward slash pizzas, and also the pizza details, and that's at forward slash pizzas, forward slash the ID of that pizza. Now, at the minute, anyone can see any page on the website. So this authentication system is a bit useless at the minute, but fortunately, Laravel gives us a really easy way to protect routes. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do that. So then, the first way is probably the easiest and the quickest, and that is to come into this web.php routes file that we've been using. And where we have our routes right here, all we do is tack on a method at the end of that called middleware. And then inside here, the middleware that we want to use, and that is the authentication middleware that comes with Laravel. So we're saying here, we want to use this middleware when a user goes to forward slash pizzas. And this is gonna check, look, is this user currently logged in? If they are logged in, then I'm gonna let them see this page. If they're not logged in, however, then I'm gonna redirect them to the login page. So let me save this and see if this works. I'm gonna to go to Pizza House. Then I'm gonna to go to forward slash pizzas like so. And there we go. It doesn't let me view the page. Awesome. However, if I then log in, so Mario at pizza house dot ninja, and then the password is test1234. If I log in, then I should be able to see the pizza's route. Awesome. And the same needs to be true for this route right here, forward slash the ID. So we could do the same thing for this route right here. And also this one as well, because I only want to let someone to delete a pizza if they are logged in. So I could add this middleware to each one of these, but I also want to show you a different way to do this as well. And that is by going to the controller, which controls all of these routes. So if we open up the pizza controller, which is in the HTTP folder, then controllers, then pizza controller, what we can do at the top of this class right here is create a constructor function. So I'm gonna say public function underscore underscore construct. So this is a special constructor function in PHP. And inside this function, we can say this to refer to the instance of the pizza controller. And then we're gonna say we wanna use middleware and that middleware is gonna be auth. So what does this do exactly? Well, basically it's gonna do exactly the same thing, but it's gonna apply it to every single pizza action. So the index page, the show page, the create one, the store one, the destroy one down here, every single one it's gonna apply that middleware to and make sure the user is authenticated before they do anything at all. So it's a bit like taking this and adding it to every single one of these. Now, we don't really wanna do that because it's gonna then protect the create route, which we don't want to do because we want people to come and we want people to be able to create uh, new pizzas. So if I save all this and refresh, let me just demo this. I'm gonna to go to Pizza House. Then I'm gonna to go to, in fact, I need to log out first of all, so let me do that. Then if I try to order a pizza, it's not gonna let me do that. So I don't wanna do that. So we could use this method if you wanted to protect every single route controlled by the controller, but I don't. So I'm gonna comment that back out and go back over here. And all I want to do is just protect a few of these. So this one at the top, then also I wanna protect this one, the details, and I wanna protect this one to delete something from the database as well. These two are absolutely fine. We want to be able to land on the page and we want to be able to send the post request to add a new document to the database. So I'm gonna save this and go back over here and make sure everything still works. So now if I'm logged out, I can still add a pizza. Let me try this out, Luigi. And let's go for the volcano with a garlic crust with all of the toppings. Order the pizza. And now we get the thanks message. Now, if I try to go to forward slash pizzas, then we need to log in. I'm gonna say Mario at pizzahouse.ninja. And then the password is test1234. 
and I'm going to log in. Now we can see two orders for Luigi. We have two and both of those we can view because we're logged in. Okay, so let me try deleting one. Complete order. Yep, everything still works. Awesome. So that is how simple it is to protect routes in Laravel.